<laughs> it's a good boy. Hey folks, this is Vagrant. Welcome back to Dragon Age 2. I was nearly said Origins. Uh, in the last video, we continued our explorations outside the city. We also ramped up the difficulty up to hard because I'm just a god gamer, as I've said. Um, we've got a lot to do in Sundermount. We are going to nip back first to the city. And we're going to go home just to clear out Isabella's injury. We're going to head to a shop. We're going to sell out our junk because our inventory is getting chock a block. <clears throat> we talked about respecking. I've re changed my mind. Oh, do I have any desk things? Oh, hello. Duty, didn't we already? Anyways, to whoever. Okay. To whomever elects to participate in the charitable deed of assisting the Fail family, must worthy highness Prince Sebastian has provided instructions for anyone brave enough. Yeah, we already did this. I'm confused. Okay, I'm uh, not doing any of that, so let's just go sell our stuff. Actually, I wanted to check this, didn't I? So, how come I can order this? Oh. Oh. Okay, I'm going to buy some... Oh. Right. Okay, so I've been confused about how this works down here. And I think what it is is that basically you need to have discovered a certain number right 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 I think I think this is the system. So I've been thinking, well we, we keep discovering more elf roots, so how can it be unlimited resources? And it is you can see that the potions cost money, they don't cost resources. So I think what it is, for example, for to use an elf root potion, we just need to have discovered one variety of elf root. If we want to order elixir of purity, we need to have discovered three varieties of elf root and a variety of spindle weeds. So it's about discovering all the different varieties. So for example, I've only discovered one type of deep mushroom, so we need to discover another type of deep mushroom before we can make crow mushroom. Uh, crow venom, I should say. Right, that makes sense. Anyways, good to know how that works. Let's go sell some stuff off, and then we are going to head back outside. We're not doing any quests in the city. We are just here to sell our nonsense. <clears throat> so I just need a store. Gallows has stores, right? Uh, high town, high town, high town. Clear out the old inventory. And back out to Sundermount. I've got quite a lot of missions to do. I'm still very sleepy. It's the same day. <laughs> it's a sleepy day. I oh, will talk to Hubo while we're here as well. I solved your problem. So, what happened? One of the miners told me you rescued him from dragons. I cuffed him for lying. Well, he wasn't. Go there and see the corpses for yourself. But I thought they're extinct. I believe you. You made them extinct again? If it is safe, the miners can return to work. I bet their first task will be cleaning up the entrails the last shift left behind. A dragon killer and a mind reader. Wonderful. Let us discuss your payment. You have been a great help. Since you did so much more than I was expecting, how about we work together? I am offering a 50-50 share in the mine. You will make us both rich if you can keep your countrymen safe. If you want my help, you'll pay for my services in advance. You're both tough and shrewd. Very well. I had some money set aside for safety equipment, but it is yours instead. Wait, no. <laughs> so, to our first order of business, we replace the lost workers. I will hire new hands. Plenty of desperate Ferelden's out there, but it will take some time. I need you to convince the surviving miners to return. They are holed up in Low Town. Tell them the Bone Pit is safe again. I'll see what I can do. Yeah, I didn't think Aveline... I just wanted a little bit of money. <clears throat> I didn't know it was going to get me... Ah, uh, Aveline, you're hard work, girl. These two love me, because <laughs> I keep picking all the roguish things. Oh, man. Oh, hello. Hello. All hands on deck. Isabella appears to be everywhere at once, executing a lightning-quick series of backstabs to each enemy. That's cool. We had something very similar to that in um, the last game. So I need to quit out, right? If I quit out and then go back in. 
No. Um, okay, so what I think we want is enemy... Uh... Oh, self-surrounded by three enemies, usability, all hands on deck, right? We want her to, and I want this quite high up. Actually, I want her to do that before Savvy, although it won't really matter. <clears throat> I think that's the right kind of move, right? Stop making me do things myself. <laughs> I don't want any control over this. I don't want to have to think about this, you know? Right, I think we are selling everything. We've oh, much of thunder. No, rubbish. I think we are selling everything. Clear out the old inventory. Sell all the junk. Lovely job, Link. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. So much quicker to sell things in this game. In the last game, it felt like every time I tried to sell something, I had to wait like half an hour for it to actually go through. One L3 potion. Oh, they're different. Interesting. Oh, they're actually really good. Hmm. I wonder if anyone sells potions, actually, while I'm here. Hubert. Tome of Technique. One point to spend on a talent or spell. That's actually obviously really strong. I'm going to buy some health potions. Obviously, I'm going to buy some injury kits as well while we're here, actually. Suddenly, this is something I have to think about. <laughs> it's very upsetting. I don't want to think about injury kits and health potions and all that kind of nonsense. Grumble, grumble. Stupid hard mode. Anywho. Inventory nice and clear. We're going to head back into the wilds. And we are going to head to Sundermount. Where we have several missions going on. And I'm going to have a beverage. Not milk this time. I need some energy. I got some Aussie style lemonade from Monster. And it is incredible stuff. It really is. Like I wish I could have like a version <laughs> that wasn't an energy drink. I had to happily drink it all the time. Right now I need caffeine though. Okay. What are we dealing with here? So what's the plan here? Should I abyss first, or...? I mean, that looked like a combo, didn't it? Pull them all in with the abyss, and then maybe I should go 8-7, like this one? More so? I'm not sure. Has Isabella used... No. I'm just, I just want to keep an eye on her and see how often she uses all hands on deck. It feels like a strong ability. Maybe I need to use it... I'm thinking, how often would you use an ability that attacks everyone in an area? And you probably wouldn't use it if there was only two enemies, right? I think you would want three enemies before you used it. I guess. Oh, I was meant to keep an eye on Varric's stamina. What is Isabella running? Savvy and Lacerate. Oh, they all need more stamina. I think we're getting to the point where I need to pick up less abilities and we need to pick up more ability upgrades. Right? Because you can only use so much, you only have so much mana, you only have so much stamina, so you need to make sure the abilities you can afford to use, you're kind of getting the most use out of them. Come on, Casper, who's a good boy? More elf fruit, very cool. I think that's five out of nine already. Oh, Dalish. Old Shemlin, your kind are not welcome among the Dalish. I get that a lot. I'm not expecting tea and cakes. I just need to see someone. There's nothing here for any human. Wait, this is the one the Keeper spoke of. A Shemlin? I thought she'd be an elf. Enter the camp. Keeper Marathari has been waiting for you. Cause trouble, and you'll meet our blades, stranger. got an amulet for you. Marathari, I was told to bring you this amulet. And Aranatishan, travelers. Indeed, I am Keeper Marathari. Let me look at you. There is a light in your heart, human. 
Don't let it go out. You will need it. Tell me how this burden fell to you, child. A dragon fell from the sky, charred some darkspawn, then asked me to bring you this amulet. No big deal. You are blessed by luck, then. I will pray that Mithal watches over your path. The amulet must be taken to an altar at the top of the mountain, and given a Dalish rite for the departed. Then, return the amulet to me. Do this and your debt will be repaid. Are you going to teach me this rite for the departed? I will send my first with you. She will see to it the ritual is done. And when it is complete, I must ask that you take her with you when you go. If that's what you want. It isn't what I want, but it is what she wants. You will find Meryl waiting for you on the trail just up the mountain. Dareth Shirad. Dareth Shirad. I'm curious as to why... Flemeth would have the amulet that's seemingly to do with a departed, dead, Dalish elf. Uh, Meryl is a mage. She's the only other party member that I remember. and She's very cute in a sort of puppy sort of way. And um, she's the only other party member I've been considering because she, as I say, she's a mage and she could take over some of the magey things that I don't want to do anymore, <laughs> basically. <laughs> But um, I think I like my group a little bit too much. She'd have to replace Varric, I think, logically. It won't be the same. What do you sell? Uh, boots of the Isolationist. Oh, they're pretty good. No, we're not spending money on this. Do I want? No. Uh, nope. 4% electricity damage, not bad. And nature damage, not bad as well. Rune of nature. Weapon rune. And what Dalish other? crafting is second to none, I assure you. I just I haven't found much reason to buy. I know we've picked up a thing Shim. here and there, but there hasn't been much Wonderful. reason to pick things up, generally Make speaking. Maybe that'll change over time. Meh. 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 Enjoy. I don't think any of you are doing that, but just in case. Now we found a Dalish. I can't remember what it was. We found the daily something. Um, it was a corpse or a scarf. It was one of the two. Something of yours, sir. It was a corpse. Master Anas, this is a rare gesture. You're welcome. Uh, right, let's go. Let's go lit this way before we go to talk to Meryl. But yeah, I, I believe Meryl's a blood mage specifically. It is tempting. I don't the know these Varric. Come this far out. It's better for both sides. Yeah, I can see that. I don't know. It's tough, man. It's tough. I just, I just need one more party me, member. Tell me how you're shipwrecked. <laughs> I was drunk. I thought the reefs around the wounded coast were made of candy. Oh come on. And a demon told me to do it. It bet me sixty sovereigns and a bottle of port. You're not the only one here who can bullshit, you know. They just, I think they all go together so well. If I could add one extra party member, it would be Meryl. I like Meryl from what I remember. Spoilers! Fight but I just me. don't have the room. For all of us. My dog is out there tanking on its own. I didn't do anything. Kill them, we get their stuff. They're spiders. <laughs> what do you think they're carrying with them? <laughs> One more for me. We're oh, keeping score, ahead. right? Sure. This looks like a dead end. And again, another thing that maybe opens up later on. Oh, Casper's tanked about. I don't know if Casper's can die because he doesn't have like a portrait or anything. I think it might just be a permanent summon thing. I don't think he's really doing much, but because I mean, it's like an optional DLC sort of thing. So he's probably just there to absorb some blows and distract some enemies but you know what that has value i'm not going to complain about that he's a good boy he's a good boy
Oh, I didn't hear. You must be the one the Keeper told me about. Anathera? I'm so sorry. I didn't ask your name. Unless... It's not rude to ask a human their name, is it? I'm Meryl. Which you probably knew already. I'm rambling, sorry. She's Welsh. You'll have to work harder than that to offend me. My name's Hawk. Thank you. I'm afraid I'm not very experienced with your kind. I think the keeper said you came from Ferelden. I spent most of my life there. We only came north a few years ago. Have you been in the free marches long? Do you like it here? She's got to be well. She sounds a lot like Stacy from Gavin and Stacy. <laughs> oh, I miss the cold and the dirt. Kirkwall's not brown enough for me. But hey, no darkspawn. Ferelden wasn't that brown. The dirt and muck gave it character. We should go. Your task is for Asha Bellina. It's not wise to make her wait. Let's get this over with. No, oh, she's just gonna follow along. Okay, well, I guess she isn't. Oh, things. Humans. Yeah. I wish this had a bigger range on it. It is good, though. And then you can group them all together like that, and then... It is interesting. The Blight is over, and obviously the Blight didn't really come over here anyway. We spent the entirety of the first game fighting Darkspawn, and although we have fought Darkspawn in that sort of uh, future bit, it hasn't largely been a thing. The Keeper didn't mention you were a mage. All Keepers know a bit of old magic. The stories tell us that all Elven once had the gift. But like so many things, it was lost. It's a Keeper's job to remember. To restore what we can. Please keep turning skeletons into toads for us. But I never... Uh... Right. Not literally. Happy to help. <laughs> I've done a little fighting before, but it, it was always alone. I'll try not to hit anyone. On our side, I mean. I'm babbling again. Let's go. She's just like an anx anxious Welsh elf. She's adorable. She really is. But Varric's so funny, and he's got Bianca, which is cool. But having another mage would genuinely be really helpful. I don't know, folks. Life is confusing. Woo! See, the thing about that is, I, I missed that time, but I can also use it to protect myself. Like, I don't want you near me. Bonk! <laughs> Down you go. <laughs> That's a tough old corpse right there, my god. Let's finish this! We're not welcome on this path. I'm, I'm, I am considering it. I think if I was playing on normal, I wouldn't be thinking about it, but I think playing on hard is going to make Meryl more use. What I'm thinking of is building her as a support blood mage slash healer as a combo. I don't know if she can pick up spirit healer though. I'll de I'll Tell on the that, keeper actually. finally found someone to take you from here. Yes. Then finish your task quickly, human. We cannot be rid of this one too soon. Hmm. I'm sensing a story here. Hmm. I have made my choice, and I will save our clan, whatever you think. Sundermount seems very mountainous today, doesn't it? Lots of rock and hillside. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Let's go. We should hurry. It's okay, Meryl. It's not your fault. I mean, it might well be. I don't know what <laughs> I don't know what he's referring to. I don't know what horrible. I think it's because she's a, a blood mage, maybe. A landslide blocked the path. There's a cave that should take us to the other side. And um, maybe she's willing to use blood magic to help save the clan, and maybe the clan don't approve of that. I guess. I know she's a blood mage. That's all I know, though. Sundermount Passage. It's French for passage. I'm sorry. You're not really seeing the Dalish at their best. We're good people that look out for each other. Just not today, apparently. Is there anything I can do to help? It's kind of you to ask. I'm fine. Even if my people don't appreciate my efforts, 
I must see this through. Let's go. Asha Belanar isn't known for her patience. The tavern's feature dish is its stew made from a different mystery meat each morning. I think that's meant to be a negative, but that sounds great. <laughs> there was a pub near where I used to grow up in, uh, where I used to grow up. There's a, where I went to school in Leyland. And the pub would regularly, like, it was, it, back then it was very difficult to get, like, zebra meat, for example, in the UK, or ostrich and stuff like that, kangaroo. And this pub would always import rare exotic meats. I like that kind of thing. I mean, it's fun to experiment in that kind of regard. Oh god, hello. Okay, it's okay. Dum dum dum. Dum dum dum. Oh, this is nice. Look at this. That's beautiful. It's interesting because Meryl right now is probably really weak. Because, um. Oh, these are really good actually. I'm going to throw these on. Oh, it's a set. Bonus for complete item set. Okay. Well, I think they're better anyways. I'm going to throw them on. Yeah, I mean, eight more armor, plus two stamina, well, two mana isn't... What? What's going on here? Oh, I'm being stupid as what's going on. It's fine. <laughs> it's, uh, my... Oh, my, my dog. This is just... I mean, it's an instant summon, so if we're entering a new big area that we're going to be in for a long time, we should have the dog. It's just about building up the habit. Silverite. What do we use silverite for? It must be for bombs and stuff. I'm really struggling to click things. God damn, I ended up on the, <laughs> the toughest spider in history. Uh, how's everyone doing? Everyone seems okay. This is a good time to... Ooh. Doesn't really work well against spiders, I'm learning. No, not at all. <laughs> she complains about not having mana constantly, if she has no mana. But, like, I'm not trying to cast spells. It doesn't matter that I have no mana. Like, we're fine. Don't worry about it. Oh, there we go. The Talvain, Talvains, known around the market in Hightown, return their seal for an award. Reward. Alright, I think it wants me to go down that way, so obviously we're going to go this way. Have a look, although I don't think I can go any further anyway. You go through me before anyone else. Another one for me! How many have you got, huh? Arik, we're on the same team. Oh, right, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't realise combat was over, but I don't want to be up here on my own. Ah! What is this Shadow Warrior? All over me. I'm not taking that much damage. We've got a we've got a big group here. We've got Meryl as a bonus. Casper's in there. Although Meryl is level one, she hasn't. Whoa! Did you just heal? You can't heal. Who do you think you are? Oh, damn, son. Shadow warrior. What a beast. Simple chest. Varric. He's, he's I love how he runs. <laughs> oh, I don't know. 
that's a hard decision. Can I go this way? No. Random block in the wall. We'll see. We'll see how I feel. I'm gonna look at Meryl's skill tree and we'll go from there. It's Meryl or Varric. That's the. That is the only choice I'm making right now. And it's double rogue or double mage. And I, th I would. I think Meryl will be stronger. In terms of what she brings to the party. But. You know, that's not my only consideration at the end of the day. Funsies is also a consideration, but Meryl has a good personality, so... But Varric has the chest hair, and I suspect Meryl doesn't have that much chest hair. I don't know for sure. <laughs> We're probably not going to find out, but I suspect not. I can open the way forward. One moment. It might be nice to have a mage friend. That was blood magic. Yes, it was blood magic, but I know what I'm doing. The spirit helped us, didn't it? I realize that I've kind of given you spoilers now. Like, I, I keep talking about the things I remember, but maybe for some of you, this is your first time. And so I may, I may have spoiled that she's a blood mage, and I'm sorry about that. I don't think it's a big deal, but I'm sorry regardless. I will try to not do it as much. I think that is the last bit of information I have, however, so it should be okay. Sure, demons are very helpful. Right up until they take your mind and turn you into a monster. Well, yes. But that won't happen. I know how to defend myself. Be careful up ahead. Restless things prowl the heights. In the days of Arlathan, the elders came here to sleep. Uthanara, the endless dream they called it. But they don't sleep peacefully anymore. Oh God. I saw the mushroom. Lovely job, boy. Hmm, we'll do this now. I suspect we'll go down there right away. How did it go? <laughs> Oh god, Barry got destroyed. And now I'm gonna get destroyed. <laughs> it's too much! Back, Casperus! I'm gonna have to, gonna have to help Let's hope this works. The problem there was there's too many of them for one. But um they, all your abilities kinda lock Whoa! It's okay, 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 I got you, I got you. A lot of the abilities lock on, so I, I think I could hit like seven or eight enemies with one of my abilities there, and instead I hit two. Oh, I'm a Shadow Warrior, this is madness. Right, patch fire over there. We're getting there. Slowly but surely. Apparently he's always the first one to die. Which is another part of the consideration. Like I said, Blood Mages don't do a lot of damage, but they're very tanky when higher level, I think. I should have focused on the horror. The horror disappeared. The horror was weak as anything. Place amulet on the altar. And I'll begin the right. Finger the Magister, that sounds potentially really good. Do, 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 do. The dog died. I just think he's a ghost dog. <laughs> we do summon him from the nether. Uh 3% fire damage. What did I just pick up? Ring of the Magister. Might be bad, no. We're comparing it to Ring of an uh, one cunning. Well, I shouldn't use that anyway. 4% fire damage, 6 mana stamina. That is better for me, yeah, probably. And we can give Ring of Wisdom. Unheeded Wisdom. Plus 1 cunning. Makes no sense. 
to you rather than that one. Yeah, sure. You want this one, Varric? No, not really. Aharin Amalana Salin. Emma ira al bella seviranam. Isalahamin vinan him dofilas. In usenera narivas. Friend of yours? <laughs> you speak the word as if it is cheap coin meant for spending. You don't know me. Huh. I know your type. Anderanatishian Ashabalana. One of the people. I see. So young and bright. Do you know who I am beyond that title? I know only a little. Then stand. The people bend their knee too quickly. So refreshing to see someone who keeps their end of a bargain. I half expected my amulet to end up in a merchant's pocket. No one wanted to buy it. Maybe because it had a witch inside? Just a piece. A small piece. But it was all I needed. A bit of security, should the inevitable occur. And if I know my Morrigan, it already has. You have plans, I take it. Destiny awaits us both, dear girl. We have much to do. Before I go, a word of advice. We stand upon the precipice of change. The world fears the inevitable plummet into the abyss. Watch for that moment, and when it comes, do not hesitate to leap. It is only when you fall that you learn whether you can fly. Cheap advice from a dragon. <laughs> we all have our challenges. As for you, child, step carefully. No path is darker than when your eyes are shut. Masaranus Ashabellana. Now the time has come for me to leave. You have my thanks. And my sympathy. Oh god, I got eight gold for that. The character designs in this game are just a humongous step up from what they were in Dragon Age Origins, it's wild. And it's not just because Flemeth is like, <laughs> hot now, but like she's just, it's, it's a more interesting design, you know? In the first game I feel like, whoa, I feel like Morgan is like the only character in the first game who has like, an interesting design, really. And that she had clothes that she stuck to. And they were unique. You will fall. You came like my grandmother. I got what you need right here. Got a little something for you. You want some of this? Stand down. Unworthy. You call this a fight? Mana. Not fine. Everything's fine. One day I'll click on the enemy. There we go. <laughs> oh, maybe we're not fine. Uh, okay, we are going to find a pot then. <laughs> I've changed my mind. Didn't expect the extra enemies, if I'm honest. 
Um, yeah, the character designs have really stepped up. Like I said, I think Morgan's the only character in the first game, in the entirety of the first game, where I think of her as having, like, set clothing options, you know? I guess Alistair to an extent with the Grey Warden and stuff, but not really. Whereas in this game, everyone's kind of got that. Everyone has... They, they realise that's a problem, clearly, because everyone in this game has, like, their set style, and you never change it. You can add things, but we can't change their actual basal aesthetic. And I think that solidifies them more as a character. I prefer finding... See, it's weird, because I'm like, part of me is like, well, I'd like to, you know, find all the loot and change things up, yada, 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 but it's actually quite nice to not change your armor and stuff very often, because I think in terms of, like, from a roleplay perspective, that's more interesting. I guess we're not allowed to be here, yeah. Because, you know, your character uses the same weapons, the same armor, and it kind of ties in with their character, and it's the kind of thing you get used to over time. And also makes more logical sense. I don't think in reality your character would be changing their clothing every five minutes, you know? used all my AoE. I've <laughs> completely run out of AoE abilities. Uh, got six back. Doesn't do much against though. I think I need to learn a little bit about what is effective against which enemies as well, because I feel like these these fade creatures, maybe because they're not physical, you know, they're, they're spiritual, they're metaphysical, whatever you want to call them, they seem very unaffected by things like my force abilities, generally speaking. The force abilities seem really good against humanoids more than anything else. Where's my doctor speed again. I need the meat in the room. Who you just got? Oh, that's cool. Ah. So all I did was walk into it and get attacked. <laughs> Fantastic. Let's head out of here then. So what is what is Flemeth up to? She's why, first of all, why did she need us to bring her across when she's a dragon? <laughs> I think it's so she can get over here without Morgan being aware. We know Morgan Morgan has the kid, obviously. And she's up to something, and it's something to do with Flemeth. Morgan in Witch Hunt was talking about how Flemeth has certain plans. And Morgan, I think, is fighting against them using her child in some way. Morgan, of course, is not in this world. She's not in the Fade. She's in some secret third world we're not aware of beyond the Fade, beyond the Earth. Master Hannah's child, your debt is paid in full. It isn't too late to change your mind, Dalen. Dareth Shiral, Keeper. I'm ready. Let's depart. Too challenging. Turn down the difficulty. Pshaw. I'd like to replay the start of Dragon Age Origins and see how I do now. Because I got whomped <laughs> at the start of that game, but I wonder if I'd be okay trying again. Elganon. Is this... Is this really where the elves live? Not the prettiest part of Kirkwall, but it doesn't have a view of the giant chains. Take what you can get. I didn't think it would be so... so... I've never seen so many people in one place before. It seems so lonely. You already know me. You'll make other friends soon enough. Guy. Thank you. Thank you for everything. For all your help. Will you come visit me? Not now, of course. But maybe later. I could use a friend. I don't think so. Of course I will. <laughs> of course. But only because you use that 
You kicked my puppy voice. <laughs> thank you. Oh, I'm thanking you too much, aren't I? I mean it, though. She is adorable. And she's a blood mage. It's such a cool combination. I'm going to bring her in just for now so we can level her up and have a look at her abilities, if nothing else. <sighs> right, let's have a little look. So I want to look at abilities first. So she's also got Dalish Pariah. I thought she was a blood mage. Confused. She doesn't usually have creation. That was That's a modded thing to give her a heal to make her more useful in that respect. Huh. Oh, she's like a special. This is this is her blood magic, I think. That's interesting. Meryl has unique knowledge of Keeper Law and Blood Magic. While this mode is active, she sacrifices her health to obtain a deeper pool of energy for casting spells. When it's first in use, she can cast Wounds of the Past. Okay, so what's Wounds of the Past? Okay, so she needs to activate this to use this. Um, she can't be healed by conventional spells or potions. Spellcasting consumes health instead of mana. One health provides two mana. Okay. Luringly powerful spell allows Meryl to control... Wait, we're also going to take that. Oh, can't even use this yet. This alluringly powerful spell allows Meryl to control the blood of her foes, running them from the inside. Enemies in the targeted area take damage that bypasses armor and damage resistance. Creatures without blood are immune. Wrath of the Elven, Meryl turns the land against her foes, inflicting damage against nearby enemies as long as she sustains this spell. The thing is, that's sustained. It's reserved 20% of mana, but you could also think about that as 20% of health, you know? Uh, enemies in Vran Meryl are drawn towards her by tendrils of raw nature magic, which inflict heavy damage in the process. Again, you need to use this to do that. Right, we're going to pick those up. Um, so I could also pick up the aura spells on her. And again, it wouldn't... Oh, I don't know. Oh, haste as well. Haste is great. Mm, I mean, I'd probably look at these trees instead. I've got these for my mage. Pick up these for Meryl. Oh, it's tough, man. It's tough. Grab a slight bit of heal. Entropy. Stun. 10 seconds. That's not bad. Sleep. Just need to think. I like the idea of building her into like this crazy tanky blood mage who can do all the support stuff. Like I feel like I should build her with support spells. So that would be things like Well you'd want to get Mind Blast, I think. to uh, repel allies, but then you can get uh, barrier as well for protection. Or we can get some useful hexes. Death Hex, for example, always useful. Horror sounds useful. Misdirection Hex is useful. Sleep sounds pretty useful. Entropic Cloud, why the heck not? Major flicks a foe with lesser forms of all entropic spells. Chaotic energy swirls into a cloud that affects other enemies near the target. Minus 25 defense and attack and sleep chance and stun chance. Yeah, screw it. <laughs> um, why would I tank her up? Okay. And there's a theory about this that I don't... I, I, you don't need to level willpower, right? Don't you just max constitution? Because she uses her health as mana. Don't you just ramp up the constitution to crazy levels? 
I'm going to give her 30. I'm going to give her a bit of magic. Because I think that'll be useful. I have no, I have no idea how to build her as a character. I really don't. <laughs> In case that isn't obvious. Is she using everything? No, not everything. She's not using Entropic Cloud, for example. Um, Tropic Cloud, what we need is enemy... I want, I want enemies grouped. Clustered. Three enemies. Usability. No, okay. Where's Entropic Cloud? Confused. Oh, right. Right, 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 right. I think I'm saying that like I know what I'm talking about. I don't I don't think I know what I'm talking about. Where is it? Can I not use it against a clustered enemy like that? Okay, what about enemy highest health ability? There we go. I don't think it's an AoE. I think you put it on one target and then it spreads. But I should be able to put it on an enemy that's surrounded by more enemies and it just picks one of them kind of thing. But whatever. Um It's a horror, death siphon, da, da, da. See, sleep, that's in a group one. She's, she's got interesting things. I, I don't know how... Uh, where, do I, is that correct? <laughs> I've got no idea. God, Isabella does all... Look, Isabella's damage is like double everyone else's. But, of course, she's, she's mainly right-clicking. It's interesting, if nothing else. I oh, know, folks. Please, Sir Thrath. I am sorry for your loss, Mistress. But I can offer your son mercy only if he turns himself in. I'm trying to find him, but... The Templars cannot tolerate apostates. <laughs> it sounds like your son is in trouble. Is there anything I can do? You... Uh, you heard all of that and still you would help? An apostate? Oh... Thank you. I am Ariani. My boy, Fainriel. He's all I have. All my family. When I learned he had magic, I could not bear to send him to the Circle. But his connection to the Fade, it gives him nightmares. Dreams of demons speaking in his mind. I would rather lose him to the Circle than to himself. Abominations are always so awkward at family reunions. No, please, you must find him before... Before the demons finish their work, he must be brought to safety. If you won't do it for Fainriel, do it for Kirkwall. The Templars say a lad like my son is a danger to the whole city if left untrained. I'll bring your son back to safety. I promise. I don't know where Fainriel is gone, but there are two places you might start your search. Sir Thrask has been looking for him. If you speak to him in the gallows, he'll be able to tell you what ground he's already covered. And Fainriel's father, Vincento, recently returned from Antiva. He's a merchant in the Low Town Bazaar. Fainriel might have sought him out. I will not leave you fearful for a moment longer than necessary. He ought to have his own life. Out from the shackles of the Circle. Everyone should. My husband Wesley was a Templar. They're not all fanatics to be feared. Thank you. It has been a lonely time hiding. It's almost a relief to finally confront this openly. Greetings. The priest was asking after you again last week. I've it's also nice that, you know, it's just four lasses. <laughs> Although having Varric and three women very much suits Varric as well, so... Eh, hard to know what to do, really. I'm gonna think on it when I finish this video. I think her being this anxious blood mage is like a really interesting combination of things and it would maybe mean I can build more as a DPS I would, I would probably respec a little bit and drop things like heroic aura and pick up heroic aura for her instead build her purely as a support and a control and build myself as a damage I think it would be the idea but I have no idea
We will think. Is this all Meryl's? Oh my god, Meryl. Jesus. Do you want to chat, Meryl? Is that the idea? Yeah. I didn't think you'd come. I'll find something relatively clean for you to sit on. <laughs> Thanks. Wait a minute. <laughs> Are you flirting with me? Can I get you something to eat or drink? I have water. <laughs> I came here to see you, Meryl. You don't have to fuss over me. You're so kind. My first guest and I'm already a terrible host. I wanted to thank you for bringing me here, but I'm making a mess of it. <sighs> She's very cute, but no, I, I'm already betrothed to another emotionally. If this is what you wanted, then I'm glad I could be of service. I can't say that I like Kirkwall, but I'm glad to be here. I haven't exactly had many friends, not even among my own clan. This is... tricky. The thing is as well, it's hard to spec your character because certain abilities aren't just reliant on having the prerequisite ability, but they're reliant on having a certain level. It means at this early stage in the game, we're inherently going to pick up abilities we maybe don't want later on. Let's say we hit like level 15 or something like that. Like an ideal build at 15 is going to be very different from your ideal build at 6 or 7 because we've got access to different abilities and we won't have to spend points where we don't necessarily want to spend points. Know what I mean? It won't take long before you're the most popular girl in the alienage. Mythol, I hope not. I'd managed to say something stupid in front of everyone and embarrass myself. Thank you for coming to visit me, Hawk. It means a lot to me. You're welcome, Meryl. We'll stick with her for now. I, I, I don't know. Oh, God, I've got a billion quests. Right. Oh, so many quests. Oh, God. <laughs> um... Okay, I think we've got more to do out. I'm going to head back out of the city, I think. The Wounded Coast. Varric says that someone's at... Let's just nip to the coast. Varric said he's at Sundermount or the coast. Some dwarf. Ambushed. Enemies blocked the path. Oh, that still happens. Interesting. Hmm. I wasn't ambushed. Oh, wait, yeah, I was. Where the hell are we? Dead Man's Pass. We were ambushed by spiders. Hey, there's the dwarf. Nice. Oh, excuse me. Didn't mean to do this. I'm, just, I'm trying to swap, but I was on a targeted ability and I couldn't click out. Yeah, it really doesn't do much against those. This little white bit on the XP bar really confuses me. Is it rested XP? Oh! Oh. No thanks to this lot, can't get a decent blade at a bargain anymore. You, though, you're what a man needs. A skilled enthusiast. It, um, it seems it's the amount of XP you're going to get from that battle. It shows you what how much your XP bar is going to go up. You can start making sense any time now. My manners. Javaris Tintop, merchant and investor. I need forward thinkers to help court the Canari. Those hornheads in Kirkwall have a powder that explodes, and it's just dust. No lyrium, no demons. Anyone can use it. I felt it sting. Their ships fire thunder. I doubt they were eager to sell. That Arishok said I wasn't worthy. Not only their outcast, the Talvashoth, or that mercenary. I said, great, I'll go talk to them. Didn't go over well. But, made me think. Maybe he'll bargain if I get rid of something that bothers him more than, well, me. The Talvashoth. The Talvashoth. Are you up for some paid hunting? All right, I'll step in for you. For a price. 
I'm done bargain hunting. I want it done right. Now, best I could figure, they're up the wounded coast, a whole camp. Take their heads off and meet me at the compound in Kirkwall. Get this right, and we'll be richly rewarded. Richly. I knew Aveline was gonna like that. It's so hard to make Aveline like me and make Isabel like me at the same time. Embryum. Cool for the first time, I think. It's a tricky, tricky little balance. Because I want Aveline to like me. But I do want Isabella to like me more, so... And I'm just picking the things that I want to click on. I'm not, I'm not trying to game the system, as it were. Cast a treatise. Another one that we just hand in, right? Yeah. Okay, okay, let's head over to the Wounded Coast. See what's going on with these Talvashok. Seems like the Quinari are going to be a... I mean, they needed to bring in new antagonists, right? Because the Darkspawn aren't a thing. Maybe they're going to be a thing later on. But right now, the Darkspawn aren't a thing. They have to be a thing later on. We're going to the Deep Roads. So they're going to be a thing in the Deep Roads. I've got a mod for the Darkspawn. I love it. The salt spray on my face, the wind whipping by my ears, the gulls screaming overhead. I love it all. Oh, don't you get sick? I was so sick on our trip across the sea. Were you in the hold? Everyone was in the hold. There's your problem. You need to be up on deck, under the sky, with nothing between you and the horizon. Sailing is like sex. Do it wrong and it'll make you sick. But do it right. And there's no feeling in the world like it. <laughs> I wondered if Meryl would uh, have... Oh god, they're so far away. If Meryl would have anything to say to that little uh, comment. Um, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, so one of the mods I got was just... It's just like a weird little thing. Basically, it's one of the DLCs, I guess, is at least something to do with... I'm trying to predict where they were going to go, and they've all just stood still instead. They're very annoying guys, you know that. Get whomped. I'm not sure I do much damage. But I have fun <laughs> flinging people around. Um one of the mods so basically one of the DLC must be Darkspawn related because one of the mods I've got changes up the darkspawn packs in this game wherever it is that they are assumedly things like the deep roads but basically the dlc added some new darkspawn to the game and this mod springs some of them in. it just gives the darkspawn more variety basically as far as i remember i basically just googled recommended dragon age 2 mods and went for it again i didn't want anything that was gonna like have huge ramifications on the gameplay but uh Anything that would make for a slightly more fun and varied experience, I don't see why not. For our save, just in Here case. Here we go again. Here we go again. Where are they? No further, human. Talvishoth control these passages. Ambushes are usually quieter, Kunari. I did not intend to ambush. I expected to warn a caravan, but you are not helpless. The path ahead is littered with my kind. If you are as skilled as you look, it would please me if you killed them. And I should trust you. I have no history of betraying your people, only my own. I did not like my role, so I left the queue. I do not wish to be a murdering thief, so I left these Talvishoth to warn their victims. You are no victim, so now I will leave. If they have offended you so much, help me go after them. But I am worse. They don't want to raise their swords for coin, so they murder and steal. They cling to the honor they held under the cune. My sword means nothing. I will sell it and myself as mercenary. Kunare would say I am worse. Do I really have to convince you to do the right thing? 
I have already done more than was demanded, by my own choice. You have my word of caution, human. Heed it or do not. Sometimes I think their brains are twisted up in those horns of theirs. I didn't want to spend money paying him. <laughs> I figured I'll be fine regardless. Right, next video we're going to head up through this coastal area. We're going to take out these folks for the dwarf, which feels a little bit weird, but it is what it is. And uh, I'm going to have a little think about whether I want Meryl or Varric and how I want to build Meryl. I'm very perplexed. I'm caught on the horns of a canary dilemma. Right, thank you for joining me. I'll see you lovely folks very soon. Cheers much of as always. Bye-bye.